I'm James. I'm a licensed psychotherapist and the host of Lifeology. During this time in the United States, we're talking a lot about racism and how prevalent it is today. Many people watching this right now may say, well, James, I'm not racist. And the reality is you probably aren't consciously. There is a term that's called pejorative. It's a fancy SAT word that basically means we give a negative connotation or negative meaning and we put it on to someone. So in other words, it's a negative label. But we often don't realize that the label we give someone actually is pretty negative. For example, have you ever talked about someone or described someone, you say that fat person, or that poor person, or that snobby person, or w whatever the label may be. When you really stop and reflect on that, why was it that you chose that particular descriptive word to describe someone? Usually when that happens, it's because we have a negative interaction with that person or a negative interaction with something that reminds us of a specific characteristic that that person has. And so because of that, we will use a pejorative statement. So I would have you kind of think about that today. When you describe people, or perhaps even when you're driving in your car, and you look around at people, in your mind, describe them to someone. What would you say about them? What are the descriptive words that you use to describe that individual? And then ask yourself, well, why am I choosing that descriptive word? Because if you take a moment to reflect on it, more than likely that descriptive word has a negative connotation or negative meaning, or perhaps even a situation you had with that particular characteristic that you're demonstrating or you're talking about with that person. So uh, many times people say, well, James, well, that person is this. Oh, okay. Well, maybe they are. But why would you choose that word to describe them? And so you really want to ask yourself, what's my motivation for that? Why is it that I continually use that same descriptive word for individuals that remind me of that? For example, that could be a, a Christian, a Muslim, a black person, a white person. Nowadays, we're talking about Karens and Beckys in the United States. Those are terms people use to describe a certain type of person. Or we talk about millennials. We talk about the boomer generation. All of those labels are used in a pejorative way. Once again, it's a fancy term that basically means we're using it that those labels for a negative meaning. So it's, it's important to be aware of that because if you're not, unfortunately, you are being part of the, the movement that is against individuals. And once again, I'm part of that as well. I find myself, even as, I, even as I talk about this today, I can think of things that I use that are pejorative. So this is a wonderful opportunity for each one of us to reflect on that and say, why am I using that particular word to describe someone? And the other thing you can do is just simply ask yourself, well, let me try and use other words to describe that person. So instead of maybe talking about one characteristic, let me talk about a characteristic about them that I really like. And so as you start to be aware of pejorative statements or pejorative comments, you'll start to describe people in a different way. And as you describe them in a different way, those negative feelings or thoughts that you have about that particular type of characteristic starts to decline. And if you think, well, they are this and I'm okay with that, well, then the other rule of thumb you can do is simply say, well, if I were to go up to them and say, hey, I describe you this way, how do you feel about that? More than likely, if, you just, if they are told how you describe them, they probably would not like that or probably would be offended. So that's another way to think about it. So just because you may have these thoughts and think it's okay to say it, the idea of just actually saying that to that person, if it hurts their feelings, more than likely, it's probably not something you should say. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to watch this quick little video. Be kind to one another. Be sure to follow me for more tips like this.